While New York's anti-terror reporting app worried basically everyone for varying reasons, you probably missed the reusable rocket landing, cancer treatments for your genes, and taste mapping the brain. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where this Indiegogo campaign that fools us into drinking water with a scented rim is clearly ripping off scented pencils from my childhood, and that's actually great. Remember when we thought different parts of the tongue detected different tastes, like savory or sweet? That was cute. Turns out science knows way more than us dumb humans now that researchers at Columbia managed to turn taste on and off in mice simply by activating and silencing certain brain cells. And it's not just simple receptors. Areas of the brain are hardwired for bitter tastes or sweet. This demonstrates for the first time that taste is hardwired in the brain. I'm rainbow stamping this one. Researchers at the University of Toronto just published a cancer research paper that has people buzzing. This unfurling friend right here, that's actually a tumor acting like a fruit roll-up. To make it, they used the patient's own genetic material to grow a cancerous mass along the length of a long collagen strip. The goal is to more specifically tailor radiation or chemo to a patient's own genetics by testing their cancer role. The team is hopeful this could become a standard oncological tool, but there's still years of clinical testing to do first. The private space company race just got all oh, snap. Now that Blue Origin and not SpaceX became the first to land a reusable rocket, the New Shepard launched 330,000 feet in the air, grazing the lower reaches of space before returning to Earth for touchdown. Its unmanned crew capsule also separated at the right time and made its own landing. Good to know for future human flights. The privatization of this sort of spaceship is supposed to make the industry cheaper as a whole, meaning we will all be buying tickets soon. Lilu Dallas Multipass. Yeah. And finally, a teenager in Maryland just beat the world record for time solving a Rubik's Cube. And seriously, don't blink, because here it is. The only thing I've ever done that fast is fall back asleep. 